You know what we have to do? We have to redefine the form. Map those dreams and print them into history. Look up and say, Eureka! I'm not alone. How about that? Yeah, you just saw some of the trailer for the film Babylon. This Oscar and BAFTA nominated film recently won a Critics' Choice Award for Production Design. The winner of that award, uh, San Diego, did that nomination. Anthony Carlino joining us now to tell us about his career as a set director uh, and set decorator. Uh, you're from Carlsbad. Uh, you live in Carlsbad now, so we're proud to have you as a San Diego. Yeah, These yeah, are thanks. some impressive nominations you've got here and awards. <laughs> yeah, racking up the awards here. So congratulations to thanks. you. Uh, take us back. Um, grew up here in, where was it, Lakeside? Yeah, I grew up in Lakeside um, and went to uh, El Capitan okay. High School. And then uh, San Diego State's film program. Okay. And, and then, then in the film program, where did you just, where did you decide? Look, set design. I really am into this, and you're, and I'm pretty good at it. How did you, how did you merge? It wasn't. With that? It wasn't. I I wanted to direct. Okay. When I moved to LA, I, I thought I would direct, and then I got into the art department, and then became a set dresser. Worked that, uh, did that for a long time, and then um, became a set decorator. Wow. So what, yeah. tell us about the skills needed to really have an eye to make those sets pop, like. What is it that goes into? What, what, what do you feel like uh, you bring to um, to a set to make it stand out? Well, it kind of starts with the script, okay. you know, and the character. What the what, what the character does, you know, mm -hmm. what does he do for a living, you know, um, and uh, bits of his personality that we try to get into the set to tell a story of who this character is, you know. So I don't know. I would kind of like. You know, you go shop and you go find things, you find cool things, and, and you just fill the set with it, you know? I would imagine you do yeah. a lot of uh, running around, right? Yeah, to yeah. To try to I find a, these things. And yeah, I have a whole team of buyers that go out shopping. Yeah. And, uh, and then I go out shopping, and yeah, you just go shop for <laughs> cool you, things. You put you know? it all together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything from the, the, the furniture, the lighting, to the window treatments, everything that you see in the frame of the set, whether it be a location or a, or a stage build. Uh, we put in there. That is, I mean, that's a big responsibility. I mean, yeah. there's a lot that goes into that. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit about Babylon. Uh, when you found out, what was kind of going through your mind? Well, when I when I got the movie, I was uh, it was exciting because you know you read the script and yeah. the script was so good. Yeah. It was like the best script I ever read. <laughs> cool. I mean, I read really slow, and that script I read in one night. Is that right? Wow. And uh, and then period 1920s. Damien Chazelle directing, Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, and you just knew that you got, like, this was the dream job. Yeah. The dream yeah. job. I wanted to walk through uh, a couple of the other uh, productions you're working on. You're working on Blade right now yeah. out in Atlanta. That's a Marvel. Uh, Licorice Pizza 2021. Uh, you've done Space Jam, <laughs> Spider-Man, <laughs> Captain Marvel. I mean, these are so many different genres. Yeah. It's not like you're decorating the same type of set, right? No, How do you go what, into that with an open mind? That's what makes it fun because each movie is different. Yeah. And uh, and then you just do research, a lot of research. You know, I mean, we, I've shot out at Edwards Air Force Base, so you got to go and see, you know, the cool planes oh, cool. and hang out with the military. And then on Sully. Yep, you know, okay. You meet Sully. Yeah. Uh, you got and to meet Sully. And talk to him, yeah. you know. And when we did his house, it's like, you know, you... You talk to them like what what was in your house, you know? Like yeah. so you, you try to do that with, with, with every movie and that's what makes makes it fun is that no movie every movie's different. Yeah. 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 Okay, so Oscars uh, coming up not too far away here. Uh, yeah. first it's the BAFTAs. Yeah. Then it's the Oscars. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? How are you feeling about the competition? How do you think about the chances here? Well, I mean it's it's I mean, you know, i am I'm I'm nominated with some of the decorators that I've I worked with, yeah. you know, that, that were my mentors. What an honor. And, and so now it's, I mean, it's cool just being nominated. I mean, even when I just think about it, like, it's not until you, like, I read something where it says Oscar nominated set decorator. Like, I can't, I still can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, like, sure. To me, it just seems like growing up watching the Oscars, like, it, that, that was unattainable. Like, there was no way, no way I would ever be nominated for an Oscar. So it's still, I still can't believe yeah, it. Yeah. You know, it's just wild. I imagine. When I get there and you know you put on the tuxedo and you yeah, go to the award show, then it's, then it's probably really going to hit. But right now it's like I don't feel any, I don't feel any different than I did yesterday. You know, it's just kind of it's kind of surreal in a way. Incredible. Was there a set that you, looking back, or a design that you did um, that you're really really proud of that that stands out? Is there one? I mean, I know you've done a lot. 
but is there one? I that mean, you in, just... in in Babylon, it was probably Jack Conrad's, which is Brad Pitt's home. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what was, all was the intricacies? It was involved Spanish there. revival. Okay. Um, so some research there. Yeah, a lot of research and. Um, and it was, uh, you know, you try to, Jack Conrad, his character, you know, worldly, so you bring in all these, you know, fine antiques and fine art and cool objects that you find. Yeah. And and, uh, and it was it was one of those sets that when I got done with it, just looking at it going, uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Like, and knowing it was Brad Pitt, so it was yeah. kind of a big deal. Well, the critics agreed. Yeah, yeah. Anthony, we're wishing you the best of luck. Uh, is there is there a place people can learn more about you, your background, everything that you've been up to and everything you're doing, and, and, and cheer you on? Yeah, I mean, you can go on to IMDb. It'll yeah. list all the movies I've done. Um, and then That's awesome. watch the BAFTAs and watch the Oscars. By the way, <laughs> um, we weren't sure you were local, but your sister sure let us know. She uh, messaged us and said, hey, that's a local <laughs> San Diego doing great things. So we're so, so glad she did that. So uh, yeah, cool. glad we got to cross paths here, Anthony. Awesome. All right, best of luck to you. Yeah.